वन सेकेंड वेलकम यू टू द लेक्चर ऑफ इंडक्शन मशीन होप यू आर ऑल वेल इन दिस कोविड सेंटर यो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट वाई इंडक्शन मोटर इज कॉल्ड ए रोटेटिंग ट्रांसफॉर्मर विच दॉ सर्किटेड सेकेंडरी वी विल डिराइव सम इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर्मूला विच ऑलरेडी वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज एंड वी विल डू सम न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन इंडक्शन मोटर सो यू विल बी एबल टू लर्न ए लॉर्ड्स ऑफ थिंग फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो सो वॉच द वीडियो till the end now i will discuss about the similarity and the differences between induction motor and a transformer induction motor is similar as a transformer with a rotating short circuited secondary because the rotor of the induction motor is short circuited through end ring in square gauge induction motor and it is short circuited through slip ring in slip ring induction motor. The stator winding in an induction motor corresponds to the primary winding to the transformer. The rotor winding of induction motor corresponds to the secondary winding in a transformer. Both works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. The equivalent circuit and vector diagram of both are same. In transformer, electrical load connected at the secondary winding. The load increases, the secondary current increases. In that case, the mechanical load is connected with the rotor. If the mechanical load increases, rotor current of the induction motor increases, and stator current also increases. Now we are going to discuss about the differences of induction motor and transformer. Induction motor converts electrical energy into mechanical power. In transformer, the input as well as the output is electrical energy. In induction motor, the rotor voltage, reactance, and frequency is proportional to slip. but there is no slip turn in the case of transformer the flux path in induction motor is completed through air gap we know that air give more reluctance to the flux so to create the same amount of flux we need more mmf and mmf equal to n into i as we need more mmf it will draw more current so no load magnetizing current is high in case of induction motor Magnetizing current is 30 to 40 percent of rated current in case of induction motor, but in case of transformer, flux passes through the core material. So magnetizing current of transformer is less than this 5 percent of the rated current. Transformer is a static device, and induction motor is a rotating device. Therefore, there is extra friction and windage loss in the induction motor. As loss is high in case of induction motor, so efficiency of induction motor is lower than that of transformer leakage reactance of induction motor is large as as compared to that of transformer now we will discuss about some important formula of induction motor synchronous speed equal to 120 f by p slip equal to ns minus nr by ns rotor speed equal to 1 minus s into ns input power equal to root 3 vi cos phi root 3 v1 i1 cos phi where v1 is the input voltage line input voltage to the stator i1 is the line input current to the stator and phi1 is the angle between v1 and i1 it is power factor angle now we will discuss about air gap power air gap power equal to input power Minus stator copper loss, minus stator coal loss. We can also write that air gap power is stator copper loss plus mechanical power developed. And we know that mechanical power developed equal to friction minus loss plus mechanical power output at shaft. Therefore, we can write that air gap power equal to stator copper loss plus friction minus loss plus mechanical power output at shaft. Now, if we denote air gap with Pg, then stator copper loss will be S into Pg. Developed mechanical torque equal to one minus s into Pg. Developed torque equal to Pg by omega s. Mechanical power output at the shaft equal to developed mechanical power that is one minus s into Pg minus friction and windage loss. Mechanical torque at the output equal to mechanical power at shaft divided by rotor speed that is omega r. 
Now see this example. A 480 volt, 60 hertz, 6 pole, 3 phase delta connected induction motor has following parameters. R1 equal to 0 0.461 ohm, R2 equal to 0 0.258 ohm, X1 equal to 0 0.507 ohm, X2 equal to 0 0.309 ohm, XM equal to 30.74 ohm. The rotational loss is 2450 watt. The motor drives a mechanical load at a speed of 1170 rpm. Calculate the following information. Synchronous speed in rpm, sleep, line current, input power, air gap power, torque developed, output power in horsepower and efficiency. There is no information given about the iron loss in the question. So the iron loss component RC will be absent in the equivalent circuit. So equivalent circuit will look like this. Synchronous speed equal to 120F by P. Bring the value of F and P, we will find its 1200 RPM. Sleep equal to NS minus NR by NS. NS equal to 1200 RPM already we have calculated. And NR is given that 1170 RPM. Putting all this value, we will get sleep equal to 0 0.025. Now the per phase current is given by per phase input voltage divided by per phase impedance. So first we will calculate the per phase input impedance. From the equivalent circuit we have seen that R2 by S and JX2 are in series. And this whole thing is parallel with JXN. The total unit is in series with R1 plus JX1. So total impedance will be look like this. Putting the value of R1, X1, R2, X2 and XM we will find ZN equal to 9.57 plus J 3.84 ohm. Now the machine is delta connected. So its line and phase voltage both are equal that is 480 volt. Putting the value of voltage 480 volt and impedance 9.57 plus J 3.84 ohm we will find that I1 will be 43.1 plus minus J 17.4 ampere. Taking this value of I1 we will get thus it is 46.6 ampere and theta is minus 21.9 degree. This minus sign indicating that current is lagging the voltage. As this is delta connected the line current will be root 3 times of phase current. So if we multiply the line current with root 3 we will get the phase current. Now we will calculate the input power that is given by root 3 V1 I1 cos pi. V1 and I1 is the line voltage and line current. We also calculate that it is with 3 VPH IPH cos pi that is power phase voltage, power phase current, input power factor, whole link multiplied by 3. And calculating it, we will get it 62.2 kilowatt. Now, air gap power is the input power minus the stator loss. In this case, the core loss are grouped with rotational loss. Therefore, P air gap equal to P in minus C I1 square R1 that is 59.2 kilowatt. Top developed is given by PG by omega S. We already calculated that NS that is revolution per minute. Now we will calculate in radian per second. So 1 revolution equal to 2 pi radian multiply it with 2 pi and per second that is why we will divide it with divided it will be with 6. Now torque equal to 471 Newton meter. Output power is given by PD minus P rotation. PD equal to 1 minus S into PG. Putting all this value we will get that P output is equal to 55.3 kilowatt. But we need it in horsepower unit. Therefore we will divide it with 746 and we will get in horsepower. The efficiency is given by P out by P input. P out already we have calculated that 55.3. P input we have already calculated that 62.2. So, taking this ratio, we will find that it is 